I'm back. Okay, I have a few things to talk about, and you can tell my voice is a little bit gone. Right. If anyone's been following me on Twitter, especially because I've been talking about it a lot, and my Facebook, then I've been at Download Festival as of, well, last weekend, is the weekend gone, because obviously it's Wednesday today, so obviously that's just done with. But basically, I want to do a quick, I want to call it a review, but it's probably just going to be a big fucking mess of video for you guys, so, because I haven't posted in a while, and um, I should really get back on it, so hopefully I'll be back on it. So basically... Let's just start from the day I left. Right. I'm going to quick and scan it because it was quite a long day. Basically, I got up in the morning, got my stuff together, took my suitcase downstairs, you know, left to go down the coach. Coach was a little bit late. And I think it had just come from a, like a morning trip and then had to come back. So that was probably why traffic's a bitch, I know. So I got on the coach, quarter ten. Drove all the way up to Nottingham, which is about, if you know where I live, you'll probably be able to work it out. It's about five-ish hours away by coach, especially in bad traffic. Actually, technically, it's three and a half, but because of traffic, picking people up from different places, you know, mm, bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, got there for about, let's see, half three, four o'clock in the afternoon. It was really, really, really nice. It was really warm. So... Obviously, carrying all my camping stuff. Woohoo! Ready to have the greatest weekend of my life. And then I had to try and look for a camping spot. That's the worst part. So I've, I did eventually, about 20 minutes trekking up and down. Found a really nice parking spot. Sorry. Camping spot right on the hill. And a really nice camp called Gold. Right, basically, if you've, if you've been a download or you know about it, you know that the camps are all labelled. Certain camps are better than the others depending on where you want to be, and there's a quiet camping for families and stuff, and there's like pink, blue, red, Camp Lona, um, I can't think of the others, black, gold, yellow, have I said yellow yet? I think there's a green camp, but I, I didn't go that far to find green camp, so if there was a green camp, then I never saw it. And I think, oh, did I say red camp as well? I think I did first. Anyway, there's a bunch of camps, they're all like different names and crap, and mine was quite, I had to stay in gold, because there was no room when I got there. Uh, obviously it was packed, there was a lot of people there. So, I set up camp. Woohoo, yeah, I'm here. So, some girl had to help me set up camp. Whoever she is, thank you. I appreciate your help. I really am stupid. I should never go camping by myself, ever. But I did anyway. So I set up camp. Oh yeah, cool. It's all sorted. It's all up. After about 20 minutes, I set it up. Brilliant. Okay. Then I had to go back to the village. And I had to set up my... Well, I cut it off now. But the wristbands this year had a cashless dog tag. Basically, you put money on it for your card. Or maybe you have cash on you. And you basically, you know, tells you your balance or whatever. You have a little scanner. And it tells you your balance. And you're like, oh, you've got 20 quid left. Woohoo, yeah. Sound. So I put 200. Okay, I put 200 on. Actually, I did miss a thing. When I was going into the village, into thingy, I had to pay 50 quid to get my ticket changed. I think I got ripped off. So instead of having 250, I had 200. Which is okay, because I survived, you know, I'm still alive, woohoo. I mean, it's not very good that I had to pay that much money to get my ticket upgraded, but it happened. So anyway, Thursday was kind of like, oh, I was bored, and I was trying to find people to talk to. So I found these guys from Scotland, I think, and they were in a different camp, they were in Black Camp, which is next, kind of next to my camp, but a bit further off. After about 20 minutes of looking for them, I found them. Well, I just felt, felt like an hour, actually. I found them. Um, I just had a few drinks and partied with some people and it was pretty fun, you know, I met some cool people and obviously there was no music playing because the gigs, the concerts, the bands don't perform until the Friday, so I had the whole Thursday to chill. It's kind of nice, I got to explore, it's cool, it is ama an amazing place, you know, I'd recommend going if you want to go, do it. I mean, you don't have to, but yeah, I will tell you, you're missing out. So yeah, Thursday, okay, cool, sound, went to sleep, died, whatever, I went to bed quite early so I was really tired. After I went to the uh, like after party night parties and stuff, I woke up in the morning. Okay, pretty cold, pretty warm, you know, average day. Got up for like eight. Went from Muchen Village, put my wellies on. Actually, I didn't have wellies at this point. I had to buy them. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I put my trainers on. Blah blah blah. Yeah, cool sound. Went to the village. Thought oh, I'm gonna get some food. Uh, why not? Actually, I don't think I ate in the morning. I think I just got a coffee. Anyway, they have a million like stands and stuff. So I was walking back and I 
Oh no, that was Friday. Anyway. Oh, I am on Friday. Okay, never mind. Um, so basically, we went to see some bands. I actually can't remember who I saw on Friday, apart from Slipknot and Judas Priest were on in the evening. So the headliners for the main stage, and I got completely soaked. It rained all the way through Slipknot set, all the way through the night. So in the morning, as you can tell, download was a complete mud heap. And it was. I mean, I went and I went, oh, I didn't mention the arena. Anyway, I'm kind of skipping and scanning. So it's coming back to me in chunks. I'm still trying to get used to being at home. Anyway, mished to the main arena from the campsite, whatever. Got in there, got scanned, touched up. Security actually touched you up. I saw some people get proper groped, like it was proper cool. So you go in, you, know, you buy drinks, whatever. You could use the toilet, get buy food, you know, chill, whatever. And there's four stages. The Jake stage, the Maverick stage, the main stage, and the Zippo Encore stage. And if you've been to the arena, you know what I mean? They are everywhere. Like, the Zippo Encore stage is in the far left corner. The main stage is in the dead centre. And then the two other stages, Maverick and Jake, are kind of smaller for inside stages. Which are kind of nice, actually. It's a nice change from the big, open, outside stages I spent half my fucking time in. Anyway, there's all the, like, more the heavier stuff, the metal, the stuff where you go down, and lots of mosh pits and circle pits and all that stuff happen. They're more in the smaller stages. I only went to the Jake stage once, and that was to see Chelsea Grin on the Sunday, which were amazing, by the way. I do rec totally recommend going to Chelsea Grin concert if you like them. I wouldn't if you don't want to get beaten up, because it is pretty brutal in there, but it's worth it, I think. Anyway, so Friday, I went to bed. I was soaked, really, really, really annoyed. I thought I was getting hypothermia. It was that bad. So I moved back to the campsite at like midnight because it was late. Obviously I stayed to watch Slipknot. They went on for ages. Recommend watching Slipknot if you ever get the chance. Please go. They are good. Actually they are more than good. They're fucking amazing. Um, so I woke up. Tent was soaked. Actually I say my tent was soaked. The bottom of my tent was soaked because I was on the hill luckily. Turns out some people actually lost their tents that day. Some people had to buy new shit. I thought oh, I'm going to buy a new sleeping bag. My sleeping bag soaked. So I come back for a new sleeping bag and I went straight down on my ass. And I was dressed in a new, like, I was wearing shorts and a partway dry shirt. And I was pissed off. And some girl was like, are you alright? So I got back up, walked back off, went back to my camp. Had to buy new wellies. I chucked my trainers out. 25 quid for a pair of wellies. Would you go and do that anywhere else? I don't think so. So I went to hang in the breakfast bar all morning, because why not? And I was trying to get hold of people. I was trying to be like, oh, come meet me, come hang with me, cool, sound, have a party. No one turned up. So I chatted, I chilled in there, got some food, got some drink, you know, listened to the crying radio for a bit. And then ended up going to the arena for 11, that's when it opens. Went to see some more bands. Sorry about that, my phone rang. So, basically, I was a skip Saturday, a lot of bands happened. I can't really remember the bands, per se. Um, oh, my phone's still ringing. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's not important. Basically, um, Saturday I went to see some bands, I went to different stages, I got to hang out with the Scottish people again. As you know, I missed, I didn't get to catch them, I was too busy venturing. So I went to see, I'm trying to think who I, remember, who I saw on Saturday. I saw Bratville Brides, I saw Manson in the evening, and he was okay, but I wasn't in the mood for him, so I just went off, did my own thing. I know Muse were playing, they were good, they were actually okay for what I heard of them. Surprisingly, a lot of people were slating them, but I didn't think they were that bad, really. You know, I've seen worse bands. You know, I'm trying to think who else I saw. Um, I think I saw Crown the Empire, North Lane. Yes, some of my favourites. Oh, I saw Beartooth on Friday. That's who I saw, yeah. Yeah, Beartooth. In the Maverick stage, if you want to go to the Maverick stage. I'll reply to that in a minute. Should we just do it super quickly now? Doesn't matter. And, uh, so I saw some bands. I'm trying to think of who I saw. It's, it's like, I mean, it's come back to me. I think I saw Faith No More, Hollywood Undead, Parkway Drive. I missed Rise Against, which I'm still pissed about. I do to remember. Uh, who else did I see? Um, see, so yeah, I can remember Sunday. I saw Harlot, Godsmack, Crew, Kiss, Billy Idol, Slash. I caught half a Slash, he was good. Um, I saw Chelsea Grin on Sunday. You know, I saw so many people, you know, I can't even begin to... Oh, I saw Mallory Knox on Saturday. That was it. Mallory Knox first. I saw them at, like, 12. They blew me away. They were pretty good. Anyway, basically, I spent the whole day walking around, eating food, drinking, chilling, whatever, you know. I mean, I wasn't drunk, but I was drunk enough to have a good time. 
Um, I went to all the stages, all, all see loads of bands. Sunday was basically the same. Just rooted around in the rain. It rained the whole time. The worst part was sleeping. Just. I didn't know that. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted. Just really great at my shirt. I'm trying to fucking film. Anyway, forget about my phone. It doesn't exist today. I'm going to put it on silent. Oh, anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah. And it's great because every, everywhere I go, there's always a bunch of happy people. And it's really nice there because people always help you. If you go down in the mosh pit, they pick you back up. Woohoo, Sam. You, you know, they'll save your ass. You know, you, you, you can trust people even if you don't even know them. And it's nice because there's people from everywhere go and it is packed. And the atmosphere in the middle of the night for the headliners is probably the best. Especially at the main stage because... Everybody's there to see the same band. You're here to do the same thing. You're here to enjoy yourselves. Everyone gets involved. It's brilliant. And it's cool because even if you're exhausted, you, you you obviously try and stay involved. And I was pooped. I really was pooped. I saw Lamb of God on Sunday as well. Lamb of God blew me away. They're pretty good. I would recommend seeing them. If you're going to go see them. Did I mention I saw Faith No More? Yeah, I did on Saturday. He was, they, were, they were okay actually, I've, I've had worse, like I said, had worse, but I, honestly I wouldn't change, I, wouldn't, I don't regret anything that went down, I mean I'm annoyed that the rain ruined my hype, I had to wash my hair, and I had to kind of, you know, make do with wearing hoodies and wet clothes and stuff, but hey, I could have been worse off, let's put it that way. Good news is I spent all my money, and I ripped my dog, dog tag off, see, but I've got the wristband, and I've got a hoodie to prove it, they paid 40 quid for this. Look on the back, there's a dog on it, it's pretty cool. Um, I didn't get any pictures sadly, I didn't get many, because I took my iPod on my phone, I don't want to damage it. But, I totally recommend going, if you're going to go, go, seriously, it's amazing, seriously, this is the best, best weekend of my life, do it again. Monday was, see the travel back wasn't too bad, because I got up early in the morning on Monday, I was pretty sore, as you can tell I went hard every night, like went hard every day. Being in the cold and the rain kind of fucked me up for a little bit. I still feel a little bit rough. My voice is going. But hey, pretty good day, pretty good time. You know, I could do it again. I think I'd go next year. Obviously, China not does not so much camping. I hate it. But the way back was just smooth sailing. Went straight through, back. And I was back home. I mean, despite waiting in the coach station for two and a half hours, that kind of kicked my ass a little bit. But I haven't stopped going on about it. You know, I'm you know, I wish I made more friends there, I wish I got more involved, but I wouldn't change anything that happened. Um, I recommend going to anyone who's into music, into especially metal and rock, that's what they genre specialise in. Just go. And there's a lot of things I saw I will never unsee, but hey ho. I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, I'm going to try and post more videos, I'm busy all week. And I've got a lot to do. So if I'm obviously I'm gonna try and get this posted and uh I'll see you around. And uh, if anyone's wondering, how do you think the cashless thing worked? For me, personally, it was okay. You know, I think it's a work of progress, it needs a lot of work, I think it's not per perfect. It's not perfect, but hey. Nothing is perfect. So yeah, I think they're they're gonna keep keep going with this cashless thing. And I really want it to work, and so I don't have it. But there's a little dog tag that clings onto the wristbands, and you kind of scan it, and obviously, you know, you get your money, you get what you need. It's good. So I think the only problem is registering. I think that's the biggest issue with people, and obviously getting the balance back on their account. That's probably the worst part. But like I said, work in progress. I gotta go, guys. Stay beautiful.